temperature body and your rhythm of your and, and it's a hello hi and the feeling of uh, tell me who you are and what your ideas are okay so my name is Yvette Fuentes you can, I'm a professor at the University of Vienna I, I found and we were uh, talking about what we know about the universe and how do we learn about it and um, well if we look at the skies basically with our telescopes and our, all our technologies we learn about um, galaxies and planets and everything that's out there we can even go as far as um, uh, the beginnings of the universe or so on and so on cosmology this everything that we know about the universe comes from the electromagnetic field comes from light uh, and that's a bit like I was telling you like opening our eyes and looking at the skies and learning like that and now um, we just detected gravitational waves last year there's actually been three events so far detected and this is a totally new sense we're not learning about the universe anymore only through light but we're learning through gravity and that's a little bit like having the ear so basically humanity for the first time just opened its ears to the universe which I find super exciting but the problem is that uh, in order to resolve and then they things, to the you need many detectors um, in order to do that. So I was telling you about this um, sort of um, analogy with, with light, which is like um, if you don't know where the light is coming from, you just see light, but you cannot resolve objects. And with uh, gravitational waves, if we just have two, three detectors, like with um, LIGO, we can detect waves, but we cannot localize them. We can't resolve objects. We we don't know where the waves are coming. So I have this proposal for detecting gravitational waves using a bose einstein condensate, which is a quantum system that is from one micrometer to 100 micrometers um, large. And they're very cheap as compared to the big interferometers. So if we were able to develop this technology, we could have um, a web, a global web of uh, detectors and be able to resolve objects in the universe. So this would be Become like our real ears, and, and then we would be both seeing and hearing the universe. Yeah. And the feeling so, uh, so this involves uh, gravity as opposed to just fixed space time. Is that what you're saying? As opposed to what? Fixed space and time. So you're saying that the your system is susceptible to variations in space and time distortions? Yes. Do you want to explain that a little bit? Or did I miss well, it's in the, in the sense of general relativity, right? So Einstein revolutionized physics by telling us that space and time are not separate things, different things, but they are uh, part of the same thing in the sense of a higher dimensional object that we call space time. Yeah. So when you have, for example, the merger of a black hole, um, you are creating waves, space time distortions. So it's a bit like the ripples in a pond, only that the ripples are not in the water, there is more dimensional um, space time. So, how does this, to someone who is not a PhD physicist, can you explain how this matters to people? Uh, how does this matter on a, on a broader basis? Well, I guess that we are all puzzled about who we are and why are we here. And I think this is very important because the more we understand about our place in the universe and what the universe is, we give purpose to our life and our society and so on. So there's been always this drive of understanding what where are we and what's this universe yeah. and it's really like our, what we understand about the universe is again only coming from from light so we're just getting a partial understanding of it and yeah. with light we already learned that there are galaxies are there so you can think about humanity how humanity was before we knew that there were galaxies right knowing that you know we're part of this huge universe full of galaxies and all these uh, richness and other planets changes our perspective of who we are and I think that also affects our future um, where we're going and, and how do we want to carry on our, our existence. Now you open up this new sense we will learn about the universe a lot. I would say
Very good. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Um, because if you had a large outdoor drive, drive around the continent, it says, oh, God, it's close to you. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, oh.